Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. In my last video, I installed some Intellitronics digital gauges onto my TJ Wrangler, and today we are going to calibrate the speedometer. Now, there are two ways I could do it. I can calibrate the physical gauge itself, or I can calibrate the TCU that is controlling my AW4. I'm actually going to calibrate the AW4. I think it's going to be easier. Um, Mostly because if I ever change tire sizes or gear ratios or transfer case, it's all configured in there. And once I get that set up correctly for the speedometer, anytime I change anything, I only have to change it in the software once and my speedometer will be accurate. Now, to see how fast we're actually going, I'm going to be using a speedometer app on my phone. It's not the most accurate thing right now because I'm inside my shop, but it should be fine when we're driving down the road. Now, right now, the speedometer is not calibrated at all. So I'm going to take a guess at the calibration in the CompuShift TCU app. And we're going to test it out and see how it does. Adjust and we're going to just keep going back and forth until we get this right. So let me open the shop, get on the road, and see if we can't get this speedometer calibrated. All right, everyone, before we get on the road, I know the speedometer is off, so I'm going to go ahead and just throw in a number to see how close we can get it. Select my TCU, let it connect, vehicle setup, and it's the speedometer calibration at the bottom. So let's set it to 3.5. Cause I know it's it's really off. Like around 45 miles per hour, I'm doing 12 to 15 miles per hour. So yeah, let's make sure that saves. Go back in it again. It's saved. Awesome. Okay. We're close, but the speedometer is reading faster than how fast we're actually going. So we actually need to reduce the ratio. So we are gonna go into CompuShift's HDM Electronics software, select my CompuShift TCU, go to vehicle setup, and I had just arbitrarily put in 3.50. So let's try 3.30 vehicle setup there we go time for another test drive all right everyone we've got the speedometer really close i'm actually really happy with it so now that the speedometer's good i'm gonna go back to power tuning the temperatures are really good. I keep being told I can go to a thousand degrees on my EGTs and I don't have to worry about it. So we're going to turn the fuel screw out another half turn. So time lapse. Okay, we just turned out the fuel screw. So now I believe this is two and a half turns out on the fuel screw. We're going to go do a drive. I'm actually going to do a longer loop than I normally do just because it's a more accurate description of how I would normally drive this. So if it looks good and we're still good on temperatures, we're going to turn out the fuel screw again. So let's drive. So first impressions is the motor like the extra fuel. It's a hot day, but the EGTs are now below 500 and I was cruising around 600 the other day. But we're also making more boost, which cools down the engine. It's kind of funny, I didn't think that would be the case. Now we're 
maintaining some temperature. We're climbing the long hill. Okay. 714 was the hottest so far. Okay, today has been a fun and enlightening day. So let's summarize everything that has happened. We calibrated the speedometer. I actually put about 60 miles on it today. Uh, once you get her into fourth gear, around 55 miles per hour, she freight trains like 1600 RPM and just boom, just pulls. It's amazing. I've got a lot of tuning to do on the TCU because it wants to jump all over the place when it doesn't even need to. But that's tuning, I can, I can fix tuning. We have a cooling issue. I'm saturating the coolant, so, and it's, it's getting hotter than it should. I'm probably gonna dissect the entire cooling system. One of the things I did, and I didn't get it on camera, this fan won't spin anymore. It just, I think I heat soaked it and killed it. I'm gonna take it apart and see if I can't fix it. If not, I am actually probably gonna get a electric fan out of a Ford Taurus because they're two speed. And it'd actually be nice to run a two speed fan, but I'm not convinced the water pump is circulating fluid like it should. So I am probably on the next video going to completely just go through the entirety of this cooling system. We're gonna replace the housing, we're gonna put a new thermostat in it, we're gonna put a new water pump in it. Uh, we're gonna investigate the fan, and I think I'm also gonna flush the entire system. I think I'm gonna drain all the coolant out of it, I'm gonna get a hose in here, I'm gonna put a hose in the top, and flush out the coolant out of the bottom and make sure I have good flow, and we also don't have some weird blockage in the block. So, anyway. This is the stuff that happens with a project. You just kind of have to, you know, figure it out, fix it, and move on. So leave a comment down below. Give this video a thumbs up if you like failures. If you don't, you know what to do. And hey, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please consider subscribing. And if you have, as always, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. And I'll see you in the next video very soon. Goodbye.